Good morning, everyone, and welcome as we celebrate our first uh, Friday in Lent. Um, so let's begin by just preparing our hearts to celebrate this Eucharist. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And we call upon God's mercy and compassion. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be one with you and care for others. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh Lord, Show gracious favor to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly, lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it, afflict ourselves and you take no note of it? Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive out all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance? That a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes. Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish. Releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your real guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am, the word of the Lord. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. 
for you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, you will not spurn. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. So at 11 o'clock last night, the phone rang. I was in bed, and at first I thought, oh, I'm just going to let it ring. And it rang, and it rang, and it rang, and it rang, and I thought, well, maybe it's an emergency. So I got up to answer the phone, and they first said, are you a priest? That's always a dangerous question. I'm always, you know, wary about answering that. But I said, yes, yes, I am. So anyway, turns out it was these two guys who were having a debate about Lent, and they wanted me to solve their debate. So I said to them, and you're calling me at 11 o'clock with this question? And they were completely unfazed. I was like, yes, yes, we, we just want you to help us. So the debate was this. Is Lent about doing something negative, giving up, fasting? Or is it about something positive, doing something good? One thought it was, no, it's about giving up. The other said, no, 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 it's about doing something good. And I said, well, it's both. One is connected to the other. What I really wanted to say was, come to Mass tomorrow and pay attention to the first reading and you'll have your answer. Um, so this portion from the book of Isaiah answers the question very clearly. It's not just fasting. It's not just doing without um, and then continuing to be nasty to other people or being unjust. We do without or we give up things to create space within us, but so that our doing without will help others. We fast so that we can give to those who have no food, or we fast from behaviors so that we may treat others more justly. So this reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah and the debate of these two guys in the middle of the night it's all about what is the purpose of what we're doing here in Lent. It's not just to suffer. It's not just to fast. It's not just to do without. But what kind of transformation are we being called to by God? That's the ultimate purpose of whatever we do in Lent. Um, Isaiah is criticizing people who are fasting, doing all these external things, but it's not changing their hearts, and they're treating people badly. He's basically saying, this is what, this is the kind of fast I want, caring for other people, clothing the naked, sheltering the homeless. That's the kind of fast that I want. Then your light will break forth like the dawn. So it's a good um, reminder to us. I hope those two guys <laughs> remembered what we talked about last night because it really is about both. Letting go of some things so that we might care for other people. So let's ask God to, to guide us in these days ahead that 
that this Lent may not simply be about externals, but really be about a transformation of the heart. So let us offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church. We pray for one another that these days of Lent may be a time of growth and blessing for all of us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are facing war and violence. We pray for the people of Ukraine. We pray for those who are refugees and for those who are welcoming them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Pope Francis, for our bishops, for all those who have ministries of leadership in the church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick, for Donald Ruzzi, for Dave, Suzanne, for Ron Iannucci, we pray for all those we know who need God's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died, for Gio Giusto, for Jules LeMay, for Carol, Maria's sister-in-law, and the Mass is offered for Florinda Godi, that all those who have gone before us in faith may be welcomed into God's kingdom and have light, happiness, and peace, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that we carry in our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. O God of mercy, look upon our needs and receive our prayers. For we trust in you and we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. O oh Lord, we offer the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, and all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, who 
take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life.
us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. So as you may have seen when you came in, our Lenten books have finally arrived. So feel free to take one, take several if you want to give them out to other people. We have plenty of them. So they're in the side here and in the back. Um, So feel free to to take some. Um, Also, just to give you some advance notice, um, the Sunday collections for this Sunday and the following Sunday will send to Catholic Relief Services for their work uh, with the people in the Ukraine. They're helping both in the Ukraine and also in Poland uh, because all these refugees are coming across the border from Poland. So the Catholic Relief Services will help um, help these people who are dealing with the violence of the war. Um, so keep them in your prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God of mercy, for your mighty deeds, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever, through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you. Have a good day.